or as an illustrative medium. Um, so typically when we have this conversation with people and they look at this, their first conversation or their first question is like, what is AR, what is VR, what's the difference? Um, and the easiest way that I know how to explain it is that AR or augmented reality is like you live in the real world and you are bringing digital things that people have made into your world and that's augmented reality. Whereas like virtual reality, which is where we think of like the Oculus or like when I was a kid we had Google Cardboard, um, it is you are going to live in like a virtual world. And so that's kind of the difference between the two. Um, a new term that I've recently, um, oops. A new term that I've recently um, become privy to is this term called XR design, which is extended reality design. Um, and so people who tend to work in this industry call themselves XR designers or XR illustrators. Um, it has a lot of really cool commercial values to it. Um, this is my first time dipping my toes into this kind of thing. So really my goal for this project was um, what can it do? Um, I didn't know a whole lot. I used Adobe Aero. Adobe Aero is Adobe's AR program. Um, typically, you have to have a whole lot of extensive development knowledge in order to create AR things. Um, but with this program that I've used for this project, um, it allows creative people, illustrators, designers, people who don't have that extensive development knowledge in order to create really cool things. So, with that being said, um, this project, um, my main goal was purely entertainment. I just want you to look at this pretty thing that I've made and enjoy experiencing it. Um, it was a very experimental project. So it started off where I designed a bunch of characters, I explored plant options, um, I knew the room that I would be presenting this in originally, so I like measured the room, I measured how big my models needed to be. Um, originally, I scaled everything to my height. I'm 5'6", and I wanted to be able to like walk underneath the trees and like look eye to eye with my deer character. Um, I quickly realized that there are some really tall people in our department, and so their heads were going to be like in the trees. So I had to adjust. A lot of user testing went into it to make the final thing. Um, so once I decided my characters, I decided what I wanted to do, I did some color palettes, um, I took everything into a 3D um, sculpting software, I made everything, it was great, it was awesome, and I packaged it up in the form of a poster. So while augmented reality can become an illustrative medium, and as an illustrator or a creative person, you can tell stories and experience your work in a new way. I also made illustration a, um, what's what I'm looking for? An installation. I made illustration an installation as well. Um, so anyways, yeah, I packaged it up into a poster so people could scan the QR codes and then experience it. Um, in the end, I have a very interesting thumb video of it. Um, so once you scan the thing and you lock the anchor to it, you're actually able to view it and walk around in it. Um, I was afraid that I would not have enough room to actually bring it and let y'all play with it. I really wanted to, but I have a video of it. So yeah, it turned out really good. I'm continuing this research this semester. A lot of the issues that I had with this, I'm fixing it in research that I'm currently doing. You'll notice there's a huge color shift between what the other slide was. I fixed those things in new research, um, but I'm really excited about this stuff and it, I'll definitely continue it. Uh, does anybody have any questions? So, with your QR code that you showed, yeah. um, which I've, I've grabbed, but I hope you'll show other people too, will, will they be able to do that in a space like this one? Yes. Okay. So, this one, um, because it was my first time doing it, and it was a lot of independent research and learning, um, <laughs> it's very clunky. Um, my models are really high resolution. I've recently discovered how to have high-res models but like put them onto lower res model, kind of like the way video games and movies and stuff are made. Um, I've recently learned how to do that. So this, they're very high res models and so it's super clunky. I um, so the frame rate dips. Yes, okay. yes. It takes up, people with older phones, like some people who have viewed it with older phones, they're like, I can't even do it. Um, but I've been researching a lot of like industry standard pipelines, specifically for games and movies. And that's definitely, that's definitely like a base. Like once you learn the pipeline, you're set. You can learn everything else. But yeah. Anybody have any questions? Questions for our speakers? Okay. Well, thank
Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much.